No, come back. Come back. Oh, uh, Jay. Oh, hello. Ready, come on. Come on. Oh. Everyone, this is Barkley. She's a 13 year old Maltese Shih Tzu and she's staying with us for this long weekend. She stayed last night, she's staying tonight and tomorrow night as well. And then you get picked up on Monday. Now she's 13 years old but she's very, very, very lively even though she's blind and deaf. Mostly blind, mostly deaf. But she's still pretty sprightly. She still loves to play. She hates the vacuum cleaner. And yeah, we're just going to hang out this weekend and spend some time with Barkley and yeah. What do you reckon? Pretty happy to hang out with us this weekend? Yes. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Oh, it has been so hot here over the last few days. I think Thursday was just about 40 degrees. Yesterday hit like 44 in the city. So we're really, really... Um, Really hot. Why are you crying? No crying. No crying. No crying. It's not hot anymore. She's crying because Beth left without saying goodbye. She's big sad. But Beth's coming back soon. Don't worry. She likes to just follow us around the house. Anything we're doing, she's just right there beside us or behind us. Kind of trying to look for us because she's really, really blind and she can't really see very well. <laughs> She's very sweet. We like you very much. We love you very much. She mad. Okay. Back there and I on our way to Molly's house. We're gonna meet Duke. We're gonna meet Duke. You know his name's Duffy, right? We're gonna meet Duke. We're gonna meet Duke. We're gonna meet Duke. She's very excited. She just woke up from her nap. She's very keen to meet Duke. Is he the new house? So keen. Oh man, I've been inside all day just playing Skyrim and cleaning up a bit. But yeah, it was probably time to go outside. Uh oh, spaghetti. Spending too long inside on a day like this. Can't really be doing that. Oh, is she pooping? No. She just do a wee. Good girl. So, in case you didn't realize, with the little Barkley staying, Beth and I uh, pet sit for people. So we get people to uh, bring their pets over and we look after them when they go away. And it's a really nice way for us to have a pet for a little while without the long-term commitment because we don't know what our lifestyle's gonna be like in a few years time or you know what we're doing next week really. Like, so we don't wanna make the commitment to having our own dog but this is a really nice way for us to look after other people's um, while they go on holiday, meet some really, really lovely little puppies. And then it is sad when we give them back, but also it's kind of nice to be able to have little breaks in between. So yeah. My God.
Yeah, she might want a drink. Let's get some ice. Come here. Come here. Let's get some. She's dribbling. I need you to drink. She's not gonna drink. Anyway, here's Duffy. <laughs> Duffy has half an ear, but now he's got a home. So he's a happy, happy boy. But he does the most rancid farts, and he poos like a horse. You win some, you lose some. What do you have to say about your rancid farts? What do you have to say? That's what I thought. Shame. You got weird head grooves, my dude. Weird head, my dude. <laughs> Weird head, but okay. <laughs> the prophecy is true. Are you tired again? Yeah. Good girl. We just got back from a very short walk. Very short, very nice. Oh, so dehydrated. Ew. Welcome to my study. It's very small, but essentially, there's the hole, there's some shelves, here's me. That's back at the hole. Literally the tiniest room. Beth went on a walk and Backley decided that she also wanted to come. Here she is. Here's the house elf. Don't be the house elf. If I give you a sock, will you be free? So I posted a picture of Barkley on Instagram, um, which you might have seen. And then when I was in the shower, um, Beth was looking and someone commented on the post. It's from a page called Dobby Worldwide. So anyway, here's the, here's the picture. I don't know if you can see. It's just Barkley laying down in her bed. She looks a little bit like Dobby all the time. And I, I hashtagged it Dobby the House Elf. And the first comment within about five minutes was from Dobby Worldwide, which says, Hugo, this pic looks tremendous. Hashtag finally free. And the rest of that page is literally a fan page about Dobby. <laughs> and the bio is Skull and Crossbirds, Dobby is finally free, all in capitals. <laughs> and there's just some really hilarious content like this of Dobby just in front of a train. <laughs> and then Beth's personal favourite is this one of Dobby. And it says, can you guess whose birthday it is today? Can you guess? <laughs> if you want quality Dobby content, follow Dobby.Worldwide. 10 out of 10 page. Would highly recommend. R.O.P. Dobby. He's finally free. I just think that Instagram is so cool that you can have a page called Dobby Worldwide, which is a Dobby fan page. And it has 26,000 people who follow it and like the posts. Like, they're all getting a couple of thousand likes per post. People are commenting on it, you know, comment with their favourite memory of Dobby. Everyone has the same memories of Dobby because everyone's just watched the same movies. But people comment 
and that's just really cool that this person's made this person vlog and is probably making a bit of money from it, but that's really, really cool. There's literally a niche for any tiny little thing you've ever thought of in your life. You will find it. Share with other people in knowledge or humor or whatever it is you want. Wholesome. <laughs> what up? Got it.